Based on extensive research of work orders by Studio X designer Roy Lundberger and GM design chief archivist Cristo Dottini, we traced 11 notable designs most accurately cited as following the awesome Stingray racer from Bill Mitchell's original Studio X. Hold on girl, now wait just a minute. 1961-62 XP 777 Monza GT. I'm happy to make time. This mid-engine beauty started as a Chevrolet engineering study of a front-engine, front-wheel drive Corvair as a reaction to safety activist Ralph Nader's charges of instability against the rear-engine Corvair. But I have to be me, and everyone can see. Yeah. Mitchell had its modular six-cylinder engine relocated to ahead of its rear wheels in a monocoque structure with four-wheel disc brakes inside magnesium alloy wheels, and he assigned Larry Shinoda and Anatole Lapine to design a swoopy body, which foreshadowed Corvettes to come. And I ain't never gonna stop, no, no. 1961-67 XP755 Shark slash Mako Shark Eye. by Shinoda and Lapine, this show car previewed the coming 63 Stingray. The supercharged Shark show car sported multiple vents, wire wheels, four into one side pipes, the XP700's double bubble top, and pop-up mirrored rear deck brake lamps. Its blue upper body blended into its white lower to mimic the predatory fish, like the one proudly mounted on Mitchell's office wall, for which it was named, and it was later updated and renamed Mako Shark for 1965. 1976-77 Pontiac Phantom Mitchell reopened Studio X for one last project. A special one off he wanted as his retirement gift. Designer Bill Davis successfully captured Mitchell's favorite themes of excitement, originality, power, elegance, extreme proportion, flowing lines, sheer surfaces, and innovative features. Never gonna stop. No, 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 no. Pontiac supported it at first but later backed out. It lives today in the Flynn, Michigan, Sloan Museum. Yeah. 1962-65 XP 797 Corvair Monza SS Spider. Another she noticed slash Lapine stunner, this one had a Corvair flat six behind its rear wheels and finned knockoff mag wheels, and its cut-off windscreen was barely at eye level. Never gonna stop now, baby. It was later modified with racer-like clear lenses over recessed headlamps, an integral roll bar, underbody aerodynamics, and a new rear deck. Yeah. 